Hello and welcome back to Train Simulator Classic. My name is Lazy Jet and today we are doing another race, but we're doing something uh, more related to America. Now this race was suggested uh, by one of my fans, can't actually remember your name, but you know who you are. And he said to me on a live stream chat, Oliver, can you do just an Amtrak race? And the answer is yes, yes I can. So competing in the Amtrak race today, we have the Amtrak uh, P40. And we also have the P42. These two locomotives are representing the diesel power. But now we're going to have a look at the electrified locomotives. Now we have this, which I actually quite like. Uh, it's called the uh, Acela HHP8. And the locomotive that replaced the HHP8, which I'm not a massive fan of these type of trains. But like, you know, it's, it's okay. Some people like them, others don't. And it's called the ACS-64. But, again, I'm, I'm not a massive fan of these trains because these trains did replace this, which, is the, which, which you know, again, I really like the HHP-8 and I'm not a big fan of the ACS-64. I do prefer the HHP-8 more. And finally, we have this. And, yep, you guys have guessed it. It is the Acela Express. And already, I see a massive problem because it is actually inside the platform which is it's a bit weird and look at this beautiful sky we have the sun is shining i mean we have got a few bits of cloud which but we, the, the sky is very blue this is like perfect racing weather and the last time i did an american loco race uh the p42 uh was surprisingly much quicker than than the others so i'm gonna see if a diesel uh loco is faster than the electric ones but we'll have to wait and see i mean the Acela Express does have a reputation of starting off super quickly. But if you guys are new to the Lazy Jet YouTube channel, make sure you click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel, and also head over to the Lazy Jet website if you want to buy some uh, Lazy Jet merch. We've got some Flying Scotsman t-shirts or Flying Scotsman hats. Uh, have a look on the website and buy some merch. Thank you. And as always, you guessed it, I'm going to be driving the Superclass 47 to make sure I can keep up with these hyper-speed uh, American trains. So, um, and also, they are, they are a lot bigger than the... Uh, than this than the class 47 so anyway let's go to the world editor and do some programming yes uh ooh, a march madness sale now on interesting so let's have a look so i think the p40 is on platform th three and it's engine number two so let's go to platform three yep that's programmed well and we'll have you at ooh, maybe 100 and 60% power. I think that's a good idea. With the Amtrak P42, uh, you're on platform four, uh, I think. Yep, and we'll have you at 160% power as well. Engine five, which is the HHP8, uh, I believe you're on uh, platform five as well. Engine five on platform five. There you go. 160% power for you as well. And then the ACS64 which I believe you're on platform six. Yes, you are. Look, look at all these numbers line up very well. 160% uh, power as well. And for the Acela Express, which is one of the fastest trains here in Train Simulator that we've experimented on, uh, you're engine number four, and you are going to be on platform seven, aren't you? Yes, you are. And we'll have you on 160% power. Oh, no, that's 1,000 and something. 160% power. There we go. All done. There you go. Programming is done. Now, I have to be honest, uh, lately uh, I have discovered that this racetrack uh, is actually a bit too small. So uh, in the next uh, race video, I am actually thinking of actually extending the racetrack so it's a lot more longer. So it actually gives um, faster trades that may not have a good start off pace, but when they actually go up to speed, they do actually go really fast but they just don't have enough track to catch up so uh in the future i am thinking of making this racetrack a lot more longer so you know it makes makes it a little bit more fair or does it make it more unfair i i, I don't know you, you guys can be the judge uh leave your answer in the comment section down below because like you know frankly i'm not sure what's right or wrong anymore in these trains to be later races because you know i just host them i don't really know what's going to happen i have no idea what the results are but i'll tell you what i think i do need to stop adding some more scenery here soon because it is uh it is quite dull, isn't it? But the thing is, if I had too much scenery, it might lag the racetrack. And we don't want that, no. 
But anyway, let's get this race started. So I'm going to be on platform two. Which one is going to be fastest, guys? Uh, leave your answer again in the uh, comment section down below. Is it going to be dun 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 the uh, P40 uh, or the P42, the HHP8 or the ACS64 or the SLA Express? Uh, which one do you guys think is going to is going to be the fastest? Uh, pause the video right now and leave your answer in the comment section down below. Uh, don't skip to the end and then comment because you know that that'll be cheating. And we do not cheat on this chat at all. Well, I try not to anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's click play. Are you, are you sure you want to see the scenario? Yes, as always. Uh, again, there's a there's a sail on. And away we go. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 uh, move. I think moving it would be a, a, a good idea. So, uh, oh god, this is the fastest start off in any race history. So, uh, goodbye P40. Uh, goodbye the. Uh, I'm just calling it the 64 because, like, you know, I can't remember the whole name. It's, it's too complicated to uh, remember. Uh, Stellar Express is uh, pulling away a lot faster than I anticipated. Uh, but the diesel P42 has pulled away a lot faster than I uh, anticipated as well because all the trains are on 160% uh, uh, power. So, I need to catch up. So, I'm doing way over. Over uh, 250 miles per hour. I'm doing about nearly 300 miles per hour. There we go. Uh, can I see the HHP8? Yes, I can. Just in the distance. How fast is that thing going? <laughs> I've never seen a HHP8 start off that fast. I mean, it's doing way over 200 miles per hour. I mean, I'm actually like doing 216, and it is. It's, I'm catching up a, li a little bit, but not not by much. So we're entering the first corner now. Well, the 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 the, the, the main corner actually. The big the big loopy circle thing. Um, but look at the speed of this thing going now. I mean, I can actually see in the distance that the Amtrak Acela Express is coming up, and it's coming up extremely fast. Like, if I go from the outside view, you can see the HHPA. It's moving at tremendous speed. But if I try to look in the distance, there is the uh, Acela Express, and it's coming up. Ooh, it, that is so intimidating to look at. Like, so going at this speed and just seeing a high expressor. Um, coming up behind us at that speed. That is that is amazing. Um, the HHPA is uh, still doing about 200 miles per hour. God, I, I, we've already gone past the halfway mark on the racetrack. This racetrack is so short that we're already like past the halfway mark. I mean, it is quite close uh, between the um, the Amtrak uh, HHPA and the Acela Express, but I have no idea where the others are. I mean, that they are there. I mean, if I try and look behind me, I mean, they're 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 they're, they're way behind. But some of you might think it's a bit unfair that the HHPA is going a lot more faster because it's not pulling any coaches. Well, the thing is that the Acela Express has to pull coaches because, you know, it's, an, it's a high-speed express train. Uh, the HHPA is what's... Um uh, there, there is, I think there is a name uh, that, that w when you call a locomotive that's got uh, a cab on each end. There, I think there is a, a name for that, but um, it's not... It's not electrical multiple units. It's, it's I think uh, I think there is a I think there is a uh, oh it could be that but I'm not sure. I mean there is a specific name of when you call a locomotive that's got a cab on each end, but I don't know what that's called. Okay, we've slowed right down. We're going about uh, 140 miles per hour. And we're uh, and we're at the finish line already. That just that took us like minutes. Like this this racetrack, as we've just proven, is actually too. Small. It's not the, the racetrack's not long enough. So we're entering the final spiral now. Very squeaky, squeaky wheels. So uh, the HHPA is still in the lead, followed by the uh, Acela Express, followed by the P42. Uh, who knew a diesel would be faster than the ACS64? Oh, nearly whacked my face on the uh, P42. That's still going at a good speed though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my brakes and leave the Superclass 47 there. And you can actually see like all the Amtraks all spread out now. It, like, you know, when they set off, it, there is it, there is quite a bit of a distance. But when they all come together like near the end, they, they do bunch up a bit. But obviously, I think we can conclude uh, a new winner. I mean, I still can't believe how fast the HHP8 shot off. I mean, like, that 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 is... I'm mind blown at how fast that thing set off. Well, there you have it. In first place is the Amtrak Acela HHP8. Was not expecting that, to be honest. And in second place uh, is the Acela Express. But then in third and fourth place, it's a bit neck and neck at the moment. It's quite close between the P42 and the ACS64. So the Acela Express has stopped. 
But who's going to stop next? Is it the diesel or the electric? Let's find out. It, it is very, very close. Who is going to stop first? Who is it going to be? Ooh, I think the, uh, yeah, I think this one stopped just before the P42, the... The ACS-64 stops just before the P42, but that was close. Bear in mind that they're t in totally different leagues. This is a diesel locomotive, and this is an electric one. So that was quite close. And at the far distance is the P40. I mean, that, that thing is going um, it is going quite slow. I'm just going to have a look, actually. How are you doing, uh, a P40? Yeah, I think that, <laughs> yeah, that's not, not, it's not that fast, is it, really, compared to the P42? But that's okay. It did very well. It's a gentle beast. Well, actually, no, it didn't do very well, actually. That's a complete lie. Uh, this thing did terrible because it's in stone dead last and it's actually going quite slow. Hmm. But anyway, let's park the uh, the P40 next to the P42. Um, God, it is, it is stopping quite slow, isn't it? But no, never mind. It's in stone dead last. But hey, you finally made it. Looking very good as well. I actually quite like the Amtrak trains. I think... Uh, I think that's a that's a like in my uh, in my train sim uh, book or my train book in general. I, I do quite like the Amtrak trains. I really do. But the question you guys are probably asking of which one of these Amtrak trains do I like the best? If I have to be honest, I think not just because it's the fastest, but I quite like the style of it as well. I look, I really like the HHP8 just because of the way it looks. And I just love how big the pentagraph is. I mean, it looks incredible. And, I don't, yeah, out of all the Amtraks, I think the HHP8 is my favourite. Not just because it's the fastest, just because I just like the style of it. But which Amtrak do you guys like the best? Uh, leave your answer in the comment section down below. Because, like, you know, I do like to know uh, your guys' opinion. of If you guys have a particular favourite Amtrak, please let me know. But that concludes this video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that little subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on as well. So stay notified to the channel. Head over to the LazyJet website if, as well if you want to buy some LazyJet merch. Link to that is in the description below. And also, if you want to, uh, follow me on my Twitch channel. Because I'm live streaming every single day. I don't actually have a time schedule for Twitch. But, like, you know, if you follow me on Twitch, uh, link to that is in the description below uh, as well. And, uh, you know, just support my Twitch channel because, you know, I'm live streaming every single day at the moment. You know, just trying to get the Twitch channel out there. Um, but if you don't want to follow me on Twitch, that's absolutely fine. It's just there if you want to. But thank you again so much for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye for now, guys. Bye. things sort of